While Bill 32 has drawn both its biggest critics and supporters, its author, Senator Rory Respicio, says it has at least accomplished one thing so far. Uh, so I introduced the bill at the request of the administration to demolish the DOA building and to use the proceeds of the hot bonds uh, in order to do that. I think the greatest thing that uh, been done so far uh, is the introduction of that bill because it's causing um, members of our community uh, to really think about uh, the fate of that building. Respicio, who is also a member of the Haganya Redevelopment and Restoration Authority and has oversight on the Capital District, says he wants to join the effort to do something with the building since it's been vacated for some time. He says while other alternatives have been proffered, the goal is to be mindful of the historical significance of the area. Respicio, however, says the building itself never made its way onto the National Registry. Uh, Linda Ogden, who is the SHPO uh, administrator under the Department of Parks and Recreation, said that the early uh, pronouncements of that building was, was that it was a low priority. For now, he's asking for SHPO to move forward with trying to get the building nominated. But with a building of such historical significance, how did it end up in its current state? So I think over the years, we, we just saw that building deteriorate, you're right, uh, because of the, the, the situation. Uh, there, were, there were tenants there, but they weren't paying rent. So because they weren't paying rent, there was no opportunity to maintain the building structurally. And so that's where we're at. He says the legislature, which is the landlord of the building, maintained the grounds of the property. As for the next steps, Respicio says, there is talks about calling for more studies before moving forward. I think if we want to bring credibility to this process and whatever decision is made, it has to be made intelligently based on those studies that I'm also asking that a barricade be, be, be made in that area uh, to protect the community from that um, unsafe um, uh, environment. And so I, I've heard from the administration that they want more time on the bill and so more than likely the bill would remain in my committee. He adds that if the building is demolished, the legacy of former Governor Guerrero could still be preserved as there's talks of dedicating a monument on the property in his honor. A third hearing on the bill will be held later this month. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.